Good afternoon YouTube. Um, first of all I'd like to say um, I haven't been on, um, I haven't posted or uploaded any videos recently um, because we've had a little bit of upset um, in the family. Um, nothing, well it's serious to us um, but I'm, I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's, it's, you know, it, I don't really want to talk about it. I find it extremely upsetting. Um, but those of you who watch my channel regularly will probably work out in the not too distant future what has happened. And um, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. So anyway, I'm back now. Um, I'm feeling in a better place. Um, the whole family's feeling in a better place. This last week's been really good and um, I thought I'd do a little update. So these are some of the plants that are in, flo are in flower at the moment. So this is a, um, let's get the thing out so we can get the label because I'm not very good at pronouncing. Nelly Isla. And this one here, which is flowering at the moment, which is a gorgeous, I don't know if I can get a good picture of it. Beautiful orangey, fiery orange flower. Hope that's in focus. And that one is, let's get the label for that one Pacific Sunspot. Sorry, there you go. So that's that one, Colmenara. Um, I've also got this Miltonia, this lovely yellow Miltonia, which is called, I think it's called. Um, that one called oh Maui Sunrise and then I did have this one here was in flower which is called Princess Diana of Wales um, but you know that one's finished flowering now so that one's not in flower and then last but not least we've got this lovely um, Oncidium type if I can get the flower just very pretty and that is a Odonto Sturbeck 116. <laughs> so it's some sort of Sturbeck type. And then also in flower still is the little Oncidium, little yellow. Let's get around the other side so you can see that better. The little Oncidium, which is on a mount. I don't actually have a name for that one, but that's flowered for months. So what house is happening in the orchid house? Um, my, I'm very pleased with the blue streptocarpus. They did have quite a bit of um, white fly, green fly on them back along, but I've given them a good spraying um, with a um, systemic insecticide. Um, I'll show you what I used, which seems to have killed, cured it. This is the, um, the best you can get or the only in um, systemic one you can get here now in New Zealand a lot of it is um, actually been stopped but this does deal with the um, the dreaded um, mealybugs and scale etc so that's really good um, so they've come on a treat since I've done that and out of the leaf club I'm sorry the leaf cuttings oh, was a bit of a bad leaf there if you get a bad leaf like that, I just literally prick it off and that's fine. And I'll throw that leaf away. I won't keep it. There we go. Um, so this is one of the leaf cuttings I took and that is now coming into flower. So that's really great. So that's blue, the same as that one up there. So all these plants on this rack are doing really well. Um, no, no losses there. Everything's looking good. Just give it all a good watering today. Oh, I forgot this one. I do have this little Mastavillia in flower. Um, that one's just going over now. Uh, let me see if I can get it. That one's just going over it and the others are going over too. But he did have quite a few little flowers on in that one. Um, I've put all this Spanish moss in the front here just to keep the sun off a lot of the um, sarcos. I'm not going to pronounce all that fully because I can't. I'm not even going to attempt it. Um, hopefully you can see this. 
lots of new growths, lots of lovely roots, everything's looking good, nothing's in flower. Um, I know some of these plants should flower for the autumn, but we're just coming into the autumn now. This is the last month of summer. Um, I've got lots of new growths. I've got four big new growths come on that one there. Um, several growths on that Oncidium. Uh, lots of growths on this Dendrobium and that Dendrobium and that Dendrobium and all the Dendrobiums and various other plants throughout here. Um, all the mixed, sort of mixed on right down the bottom here. They've all got new growths. Everything's looking really good. So I am expecting <laughs> flowers soon, hopefully, because like I say, I've only just started, well, or just over a year now. A lot of these plants I purchase when they're young, um, so hopefully they'll come on and, um, you know, give me some uh, spikes and flowers. This particular, let me just move this out of the way. These particular um, mounts, with the cattleyas on it, they've come on a real treat um, this year. They seem to really like it lying down for some reason and they've really come up really well. I mean, look at the new growth. This one's a new growth, that one's a new growth. It's a new one back there. So they've done exceptionally well. So I'm very pleased with those. Um, other mounts down here they're doing okay um, the two at the back are not looking very good at all even though they perked up lovely but the one on the left is doing okay and the two at the front are doing okay and this oops the same with these here they're all doing all right as well um, the vandas still going not doing well that one but that one's hanging in there so anyway we'll see um, so yeah, that's about it really. I've got nice, all the succulents are coming away, doing well. They seem to like it better here. Um, this one's stopped elongating now and um, started to come out at the top, getting a lot more light where they are. So hopefully that'll be good. And yeah, so that's everything really. Here's all the other streptocarpus cuttings. So they're getting really big, so I'm expecting flower spikes on those soon, and I might sell some. Um, the the uh, begonias are perking up. I had quite a few sort of go a bit sick that really hot weather back along. So the one at the back, he's perking up now. This one here went a bit sad. This one's perking up, and these three are still yet to to perk up. That one didn't get affected at all by the hot weather. And those greeny ones, so if you've got a particularly hot place, get the greeny ones, because they don't seem to mind the heat at all. Oh, and that mount's doing well as well. I do have to spray that one quite often. Um, so that's it, really. That's all the update. Oh, and I've, oh, I forgot about this one down here. Can you see that purple flower on the um, bromeliad? So that one particularly likes it there. It's like, um, they only last a, a day or two, the little purple flowers, and then some more come out. And the lovely pink tips on this one. I really like the pink tips. So, and these um, begonias have perked up a bit too. So that's good. Okay, so that's all to report. Um, I'm gonna upload a garden tour, a late summer garden tour. Um, soon, uh, probably tomorrow, um, if I get round to doing it. And um, there's Miss Ruby, she likes it in here. And yeah, so once again, thanks for watching. And um, please like or dislike and subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you later. Bye for now.